following animation is designed to provide a general overview of the Adistem procedure. First, 100 cc's of pure fat is extracted from the patient's own abdomen. The fat contains millions of dormant stem cells, seen here in purple. Yellow is fat. The fat is then placed into test tubes. Adistem cell extraction solution is added. The fat and stem cells are then placed into a centrifuge and spun. This process gently separates the fat and stem cells. Here you can see the stem cells in purple have separated and are at the bottom of the test tube. Now the stem cells are transferred into one test tube and set aside. Now 50 cc's of blood is drawn from the patient to obtain platelet-rich plasma or PRP. Whole blood is centrifuged and their PRP is at the top of the test tube. The yellow PRP is removed and added to the patient's dormant stem cells. This solution is now ready for photoactivation using the Adistem photoactivation unit. Photoactivation of the patient's stem cells takes 15 minutes. The patient's activated stem cells are placed into a syringe. Now they are added to normal saline, ready to go back into the patient. The patient's own activated stem cells are returned via an intravenous drip lasting one to two hours. A natural healing process occurs. Injuries secrete chemokines. Stem cells are attracted to chemokines. This is called homing. The stem cells help regenerate damaged or injured tissue.